halfway through the mask dancer tonight, I realized that today I was gonna film a day in the life of, because it was an exciting day, because um, obviously we're filming and it's quite good fun. And it was a busy day at home and stuff. And I thought, oh, it'd be really good to do a day in the life. And I completely forgot I didn't film anything except for this. It's a great start. Though. I took off my face makeup last night, but I've still got my eye makeup on. This is a terrible, terrible thing to do. Okay, so I've put sportswear on because I'm more likely to work out if I wake up and put my sportswear on straight away. And um, really, I do my skincare stuff after. After I've worked out, you know, so I have a shower and wash my face and then start the day. So I'm just going to get my son some breakfast. Then I'll get back to my morning routine. Basically, I'm not going to get employed as a beauty vlogger anytime soon, but... I did think I are you photobombing me, Sully? But I did think I'd show you my morning routine because it's quite funny. And I'm not saying copy what I do in terms of me still having last night's makeup on. But can we just say it's kind of fabulous? I mean, this is good makeup. This is from last night. It looks great, doesn't it? Okay, so what I've basically got to do now is set about taking my makeup off from the night before. So I always use this. My whole family uses this, apart from Chester, obviously. But, um, well, I don't know why I say obviously. He might make up, wear makeup, but he doesn't. This is missile <sighs> micellar water basically it's to cleanse and it's very soothing but the big thing is it takes off makeup brilliantly at my age i don't want to be scrubbing sort of forcing makeup to come off i mean that's very easy we get this out of the corner of my eye the eye booger and the corner but that's all the eye makeup off this is how i take off my mascara. Look, I could rub my eye like that with all of that mascara on you never get panda eyes you just take it off in rolls you know, you could play some sort of like attractive music while I'm doing this. You know, something kind of soothing, morning, maybe some sort of music with birds in it, something like that. Right, now that I've taken my makeup off, these are gonna get washed and used again and again and again. I'm now gonna go and work out. In fact, no, I might tone. I'm gonna tone and then I'm gonna work out. So I use to tone this, which is, maybe you'll have to type it here. Dr. Francis Prenner Jones and it's Formula 2006. And it is a toner and it's quite a strong toner because I have oily skin and my skin can really and really needs, and I have quite a lot of open pores. It needs an, a, quite an astringent toner. So I'm gonna tone. fresh faced and ready to go. So what I will do is I will now work out and I will have a shower. After the shower, I'm gonna show you what I do because I put on my moisturizer, my body moisturizer, my self tanning, so it's a bit of a gray day and I feel like I could do with a bit of self tanning. And I know this all sounds like a palaver, but I'll also put on my hormones. And I thought that you girls might like to see what HRT looks like. Oh. Bo, are you not talking to me because I haven't taken you out yet? I think I'm going to try and do something like a 2010. I don't need any equipment. I only need a mat. This is Lily and it's going to take 20 minutes. And I like the sound of this. I've got no idea what it is. And I do quite like to try workouts that I haven't done before. Hi everyone, I'm Lily and welcome to my 2010 workout. So this is a fiery little hit class. We're going to be working for 20 seconds with a 10 second rest. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Look into it, keep the chest lifted. Your option is to take one leg at a time, which is gonna relieve a little bit of that pressure. You got it guys, come on. And, woo. Fabulous. Thanks, Lily. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, so I'm going to jump in the shower. I was thinking while I was filming my workout that um, I really must try and get another sports bra. Oh, see my back now. <laughs> Ooh, 
A big part of my morning routine is my hormones and I thought to demystify it a little bit I would show you how you apply them. Hey, hang on, I'm going to give myself the magic light. Have the magic light, yeah. <laughs> oh! I have, in the interest of transparency, I have hypothyroidism. So this is a thyroxine and I take 100 micrograms of that every day. I found out that I had that, God, 20 years ago now. But the hormones are interesting. Now, you can play that music strictly. So this is my old hormone sticker. That is my horn tattoo. This is what it looks like. It does leave, I was gonna take it off in the shower and wash it properly because it does leave a little bit of sticky stuff. But I thought you should see, you know, the, the ups and downs. I want you to see warts and all, like this is what it looks like. So I just sort of pick off the sticky bits. When I put on a new sticker, I put it on the other side. Stickers, why do we use stickers? We use stickers because they are transdermal. Transdermal is important because it's a much better way to take HRT. So let me show you which one I take. This is rapidly not becoming my morning morning routine. I can't speak this morning. My morning routine. This is becoming. This is how you use HRT. But anyway, this is called Estradot. It is the patch. So you just tear off this side bit, and the patch comes in here. And. Um, it's important to say, I think, that the patch is translucent, so when you put it on your skin, whatever skin colour you are, it just kind of goes clear. So I'll show you how I do it. There's my bum. <gasps> oh! And you peel it like this. I take one side off first, and I stick it on my hip like that, and then I sort of roll this side off, but you can do it whichever way you like. Effectively, don't let the sticky bit touch your fingers. It's translucent. It goes completely see-through. That is hormone number one. Um, I do um, boost, my estrogen levels were a bit low. I saw Dr. Louise Newson. She said my estrogen levels were a little bit low. So I have 100 on the sticker. And I also do one pump. Oh, that's a bit. Icky that. One pump of estrogel and it goes on my arm. Again, this is a transdermal gel. So it goes on top of your skin. Estrogen nowadays is made, it's kind of plant-based. It's made from yams. They are very, very different from the hormones that were taken back in the day. Now this, sadly, you can't get on the NHS. Well, I think you can get it on the NHS if your libido is on the floor. But this is more than just about sex drive. Did you know that testosterone is an enormous, it's an enormously important women's hormone as well? And um, my testosterone was low and I take a pea-sized uh, bit of testosterone, so say that much, and I rub it onto my thigh at the same time as doing all my other hormones. So my sticker I put on twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays, and my testosterone and my estrogen, the add extra pump of estrogen, I do daily. This, it is a faff, and I know you must think it's a faff, but I do feel normal again. And dare I say, sometimes I feel better than I have done in years and years and years. So for me, the faff is worth it. And then I have another little ritual. So. This is what I do, I'm going to bring you over here. By the way, taking testosterone does not make you grow a penis or testicles um, or get hairy or anything like that. I am not taking extra testosterone. I am just replenishing my levels to where they should be. So I wash my hands to make sure I don't have any leftover hormones on there. Garnier Ultra Lift. This is... I, I wear the night cream and I wear the night cream in the day as well, which I really, really like. It's very, it's luxurious. And I do it on my neck as well, because obviously we age on our necks. Smashing. And then 
what I will do is I will get this bad boy. I know I seem like a Garnier advert. I am a bit of a Garnier advert, but I, I've been their ambassador forever and I've just come to really love their products. I think they're really affordable. I'd say the most expensive part of my morning routine is probably Francis Brenner Jones toner, but this, you know, you get it in the supermarket and this gives you the most amazing sort of glow. So I'm gonna take my towel off and put some on. I also put um, SPF 50 at the risk of sounding like a massive advert. I do use this, sorry. It's ombre solaire. Um, it's called anti-age, it's specially for the face. What I like about it is it's it's 50 and it's amazing. Look, can't even see I've got it on. Yeah, so now I'm gonna put makeup back on that I took off before. I mean, I'm not gonna put that much eye makeup on. I think I might go for quite a light look today. And I think I'm gonna go for, I've already put some protection on. I'm gonna go for the Trini um, BFF which is so nice because it's so light but at the same time it gives me enough coverage great and i hardly used any two prints on that i'm just going to curl eyelashes today and mascara just to give you a time check it's eight I'm up, I've showered, I've exercised, taking Chester to the school bus and I'm ready to start the day. What day am I feeling today? Darkish red? Oh, f oh. I'm gonna do... Yes, okay, done. I am now going to do undies. And is a very important part of the day. Always matching women, always. And then I'm gonna um, get dressed. I forgot to record an ending to that vlog. So here it is. The end, like and subscribe, please, if you fancy.